guys and uh, welcome back to our uh, YouTube channel. Um, today we're going to talk a little bit about the first pattern uh, Luftwaffe decal. Um, it is the decal you can only find on an uh, M35 uh, Luftwaffe helmet. Uh, it was the first pattern. Uh, it's a bit more detailed. Um, they also refer the eagle as the uh, droop tail eagle um, and later on it was replaced by uh, a second pattern Luftwaffe eagle as you can see here. Now What's really interesting is that I um, did a quite a small discovery about uh, the first pattern Luftwaffe decals that I would like to explain uh, in this video. So to start actually, um, first pattern uh, Luftwaffe helmets, just like this one as well here. Um, uh, you, you can always find these type of decals uh, on three types of, uh, of helmets, um, which are the, the SE, Quiz and ET helmets. Um, it's actually not possible to find a first pattern Luftwaffe decal on, um, on EF or NS helmets. Um, until today, um, we know about two types of these decals, so I have each uh, one of each here. Um, it's actually um, the snake leg uh, variant and the straight leg variant. Now, what's the difference between the two? When you have the decal, uh, right over here, and I'll show it on the pictures here as well. Um, this is a straight leg decal. A straight leg decal is the, the, the front leg of the, of the eagle is straight, which why the name straight leg. And on the other hand, um, you'll have the snake leg, which is the front leg looks, is, is, uh, looks like a snake actually. So that's why it has the two names. Now, until today, we did not know who produced those decals, um, but that's the discovery I did, of course. So, uh, about two weeks ago, I was uh, walking on the show, during the Terry show, and um, I had the chance to uh, obtain um, a first pattern Luftwaffe eagle. So, normally, um, I would always buy these uh, um, unapplied decals, um, because it's, it's quite uh, something helmet collectors like to collect. And I often find uh, army decals, Luftwaffe decals, police decals, and their uh, opposite runic or tricolor shields. I also found the SS decal ones unapplied, but I never, ever, ever found a first pattern Luftwaffe decal because yeah, they were only um, used until um, 1938, and and that's why, of course, they are uh, quite scarce to find. So I found, uh, as you can see here, um, two unapplied identical Luftwaffe uh, eagles, first pattern. And if you look closely on the, on the image, um, you will see that this is a straight leg variant. So it has the straight leg, um, such as, I have to think, such as uh, this one here. Um, so we called it the straight leg because, of course, we did not have a name for it yet. But, of course, the interesting part about this decals is that it has the maker uh, manufacturer on the, on the, on the reverse so um, the, <clears throat> here it comes, of course, the, the moment. Uh, it is the Abtil Bilderfabrik, which means um, decal factory, uh, from Gustav Peininger in Bielefeld, Germany. So um, uh, Peininger also is, uh, made uh, army decals, uh, second pattern uh, Luftwaffe decals, but until today it was not known that the straight leg decal was actually produced by, uh, by this maker. So um, I thought this was worth sharing with you all um, because it's something that is uh, until today not written in books or, or uh, any other uh, fora online and, um, and it's yeah, something special I think uh, that we should share in the military collecting world. Um, so uh, furthermore, um, I will show you around um, how, how, how to use a website if you want to look at these uh, at these, uh, these helmets and how to use the database uh, on our website uh, in the next clip. Okay guys, so here are a few tips uh, to use the website. Um, as you can see here now, we are on the home page. I just clicked on home. This is the home page. Here you will see all the items on the website, uh, which are about uh, yeah, more than 4,000 items currently. Um, the items here will be mixed, sold, uh, and reserved items. Everything will be here. Do you wish to only see the items that are available? Just click New Items. 
all the newly listed items will be listed first, all the sold items will be gone. It might be possible that an item is reserved, such as here, uh, because it ha just has been reserved uh, a few uh, minutes or hours ago. Once it's sold, it will also be removed out of this list. Now, um, it's very interesting because we keep all the sold items in our sold database. Um, to view them correctly, just press shop uh, on the uh, page uh, here. Now we come in the shop page. Uh, it looks the same as the home page, but it has more features. Um, and if you click on sold right over here, you will see all the sold items. Um, we have a very good uh, search uh, uh, engine here, and you can find anything. So we talked about Luftwaffe helmets. Um, so if you just type M35 Luftwaffe helmet, you will see all the M35 Luftwaffe helmets we sold, including the first pattern ones. Um, you want to see a specific helmet uh, that we just talked about, you just write snake leg, for example, and you will see here the snake leg variants uh, we sold in the past. Very good for um, extra information. Um, furthermore, maybe another nice uh, thing you can see here when you press on shop uh, and you go here and sort by price, a high to low, you will see all the best items we sold uh, in the past. It's nice a little museum to scroll just for information, of course. So that were a few of the website tips. So looking a bit closely to the first pattern helmets uh, from Luftwaffe, this is an example from my own collection. As you can see, the decals are 100% intact. And besides the surfaced uh, rust, it's, it's one of the best uh, helmets I have. Hence, I keep it in my own collection, of course. Um, what is typical about these helmets? So, of course, the first pattern decal. Uh, in this occasion, this is a snake leg and we don't know the uh, producer of that yet. Um, and, and, and the inside, of course, has a nice liner. Um, these early Luftwaffe helmets should always have uh, a, a single band aluminum liner. So what do I mean? Is that the, the, the band here is, is single. And after a while, uh, I assume it was in 1938, they reinforced it because it was too fragile in uh, aluminum. So these early helmets have this fragile uh, liner. Um, also typical for these early Luftwaffe helmets is the uh, chocolate uh, brown uh, chin strap. And um, if you're lucky enough, most of them are actually um, uh, marked as well. I will show some close up later uh, with LBA marking Luftwaffe Bekleidungsamt. Uh, and it's dated 1938. So uh, this is an original uh, brown Luftwaffe chin strap, very hard to find. Um, and it's also maker marked from 1937. So it was made in 1937 and accepted in the Luftwaffe in 1938. Oh, sorry, also 1937. Yes. Um, also uh, typical for these helmets, this one doesn't have it, but um, always try and check uh, on the reverse of the liner uh, that there aren't any unit stems inside. I think um, about 70% of these early helmets I encounter are always unit marked on the on the reverse side of the liner. Only pull it out, only pull it out like this when the la uh, when the leather is still supple. Don't try to force it, or you will damage uh, the liner, of course. Um, and of course, to end, maybe uh, these these helmets they have still have the glossy paint. While um, if we, we have a, a later M M40 helmet. You will see the difference. Uh, it, this was sand mixed uh, paint um, to uh, avoid the reflection uh, in the sunlight. Um, so that, that is a typical uh, textbook uh, first pattern uh, Luftwaffe M35 helmet uh, in perfect condition, of course.
I hope you've enjoyed this um, informative video about uh, first pattern Luftwaffe decals and uh, also maybe you uh, watched the discovery of uh, the new maker we found. Um, we will make new videos of, uh, of these kind of items in the future. So if you don't want to miss out, please subscribe on our channel and uh, you will uh, be updated when new videos uh, arrive. So thanks for watching and uh, see you later.